good morning. Pre-algebra, it is April 2nd, and this is lesson 13.3. Let me pull this a little bit forward so I can see a little bit better. Okay, so today we are doing the area of a circle. And so we did learn circumference of a circle, and when we did circumference, remember we measured the outside of the circle, that circumference. Today we're going to be doing the area of a circle, and of course area is how much is in there. So Georgie, this is how much area you have of a round pin um, to work a horse in. So how much ground do we need? Okay, so I'm going to start with the formula, the area of a circle. equals pi r squared. Now if you remember, the circumference was 2 pi r or pi d, if you remember that. So they look very similar, right? They have a 2 and a pi and an r, but we have to read this one as squared, so pi r squared. So um, it's kind of hard sometimes to keep those separated as which one is which, and I have to go back and look, but let's talk about how we break this down. Okay, so area equals pi r squared. Pi, of course, we use the shortened version of 3.14, and the r is our radius. Okay, and then of course we're going to square it, multiply the radius times itself. Now, in order of operations, please excuse exponents come first. So we we'll want to solve this part of our formula before we multiply it um, times 3.14, so we're doing our order of operations properly. So area equals pi r squared. Okay, so let's jump in and let's do example one. It says find the area of a circle whose radius is three kilometers. So we have our circle, and if you remember radius, is like a sun ray. It starts in the middle and goes to the outside. Okay, not all the way across. So it says here that the radius is three kilometers. So given that, we can plug that in. Area equals pi three squared. Okay, three times three is nine. So area equals pi nine. Okay, so that one you can actually put in your calculator, and you should get 28.3, make sure you round to that nearest tenth, um, kilometers squared. Okay, example two. Find the area of a circle whose diameter is five meters. So this time we've got a circle and we have a diameter. So what is a diameter? Remember a diameter goes all the way across. What they're saying from here to here is five, did it, was it meters? Five meters. Okay, so <clears throat> what do we have to do to just find this section, to find the distance here? Well, we take five and we cut it in half, right? So we do five divided by two, and if we do five divided by two, we would get 2.5. So the radius for this problem equals 2.5. Now, with that being said, now we can plug it into our formula. We can't plug a diameter into this formula. We need to find the radius first. So the area equals pi 2.5 squared. We want to do 2.5 times 2.5 first, and we get 6.25 times pi. You can plug that into your computer, I mean, sorry, your calculator, and you should get 19.6 meters squared. Make sure we always have those measurements on the end. Okay, example three. Find the area of the colored region. Okay, so this is an interesting problem. We have two circles, one inside the other, and only this part is colored in. 
Okay, but they give us the two radius. They give us a radius for the entire, for the bigger circle, which is six meters. I'm gonna go ahead and write it out here, six meters. And then they give us the shorter radius for the smaller circle, and it is four meters. Okay, so what they're asking us for is the area of the colored region. Well, what do I need to do? I need to find the area of the colored circle, and then I need to subtract the area of the non-colored circle, and that will give me the area of what's left over. Okay, so let's do that. First, let's find the area of the shaded circle. So the radius is six, so we're gonna say the area equals pi six squared. Six times six is 36. Go ahead and do pi times 36 in your <coughs> calculator. Okay. And then let's look at our smaller circle and then let's do um, the area equals pi four squared. So the area equals pi times 16. Okay, so go ahead and find that figure. Okay, so go ahead and write your area of the shaded circle. Subtract the area of the non-shaded circle. Okay, and when you do put that into your calculator, it becomes 62.8 meters squared. <clears throat> Let's do example four. Okay, so example four says, find the area of this figure. Let me give us what starts out is a rectangle and then ends in half of a circle. Can you see how that's kind of half of a circle? And they want us to find the area. So actually what I wanna do is I want to find the area of this entire rectangle, and then I want to find the area of the circle and then just cut it in half. Okay, so um, let's find the area of the rectangle. So it says 4.4. Um, and this is 6.5, 6.5, and they're both measured in meters, okay? So let's worry about the rectangle. So remember the area of a rectangle is the base times the height. So go ahead and put in your calculator 4.4 times 6.5. I don't have my calculator available because I'm using it to record you guys. And they go at it just a little bit different um, but you get 28.6, I believe. So 28.6 meters squared. Okay, now we have to find this area to this half circle. Well, I don't have any information over there, but if you look at 4.4 here, then it's gotta be 4.4 here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a circle, and I'm gonna say, okay, this is 4.4. So how do I find the area of the circle? Well, I need a radius, which would be what? 2.2, do you agree with that? So just the radius that I need right here is 2.2 meters. Now I can find the area of that circle, pi r squared, by saying the area equals pi 2.2 squared. Okay, let's go ahead and say 2.2 times 2.2, it looks like we're gonna get 4.84, if I'm correct, pi 4.84, and then, um, I don't have my um, calculator here, but let's do the area um, will equal this number. Now take this number, and what do we need to do? We have the entire area of an entire circle. We want to cut it in half. So how do we do that? 
take this number and we need to divide it by 2, don't we? So when you do that, you should get 7.5988. So this little piece is 7.5988 meters. Okay, so now what do I need to do? I need to add the area of the rectangle to the area of the semicircle. So 28.6, go ahead and put this in your calculator, plus 7.5988, and that will give us 36.2, when we round to the nearest tenth, and we have meters squared. Okay, so that's all of our examples for the day. Um, let me look at your work and go over that with you. You should, let's see. Let's do one through 20 today.